Θα ήθελα, χωρίς περαιτέρω χρόνο τριβή, να καλέσω τον κύριο Νικόλα Θεοχαράκη στο βήμα και να τον παρακαλέσω να μας γιώσει στην πραγματικότητα, ακόμα και με επώδυνο τρόπο. I would like to thank uh, once more Mr. Tomokos for inviting me to uh, this uh, forum. And uh, I, I have no intention to provide uh, a reality check for anyone. I think we have uh, alternative uh, ideas about reality. And uh, Mr. Bogdano said that this is uh, some sort of uh, capsule for a world without Syriza, indeed, I uh, have heard many evocations of Karl Marx's 18th uh, Brumaire of Louis Bonaparte, but I think that uh, it is the Bourbon restoration that uh, we have, these people have in mind. Anyway, I will stick within the terms of reference of this panel that uh, they say there is a growing consensus for the necessity for restoring public finance as it is prerequisite for sustainable economic growth. Then, what are the next steps towards restoring sustainable finances and implementing credible fiscal consolidation strategies and plans? Now, the uh, scholastics who elaborated on um, Aristotelian logic, um, in fact, the doctor of subtilis, the subtle doctor Dan Scotus, or someone uh, with uh, the pseudo scholars with his name, enunciated the principle of explosion, ex falso sequitur quod libet. From false premises, you can't derive any conclusion. And in this respect, I think the premise of this uh, panel is a false one. It's a false one in two ways. The first is about the growing consensus. There is no such a thing. We have a central banker's folk theorem a rich man's idea fix, uh, e the, the theorems of a science uh, who had sacrificed relevance for a misplaced rigor. But in fact, everywhere in Europe, we see that the people actually have no, uh, they do not suffer gladly this type of reasoning. First in Greece, in Portugal, in Spain, in Ireland, this is what they found. So in a sense, what it is uh, called consensus is in fact a democra democratophobia that actually holds the souls and the minds of people who rule Europe. Power without responsibility is the Eurogroup's prerogative throughout the ages. There is nothing we, uh, they don't have been elected and enforced on uh, the people of Europe, uh, policies that do not, do not work. Now, about the other part of the argument, restoring public finances. Of course, this is very, a reasonable thing. Who does not want a prudent fiscal policy, prudent public finances? I would agree with that. In fact, much of what Mr. Staikouras has said his basic maxims, uh, I wouldn't argue with them, apart from uh, his idea that in uh, uh, 2014 there was some sort of spring that was um, cut short by uh, the brutality of uh, Syriza's um, obsession with uh, his own uh, um, logic. Uh, what is uh, the, if we read the second sentence is, what are the next steps towards restoring sustainable finances and implementing credible fiscal consolidation strategies and plans? Please give us a break. The fiscal consolidation of this country was the largest that ever occurred in Europe or indeed in most, in all OECD countries after the Second World War. 
This was phenomenal. In terms of uh, reforms, there has been a sea change of reforms in Greece. The, uh, there was a rough justice that actually, in which many of the weak had suffered. Even though, to be frank, there were islands of corrupt practices within this ocean of misery. And it is quaint, ironic, and indeed perverse to see the latter day Martinets, the born again fiscal disciplinarians who were responsible for the condition of the Greek public finances in public finance proper and in the social insurance uh, arena to uh, preach uh, the uh, gospel of uh, fiscal prudence. So the, the thing is, can we achieve growth through fiscal consolidation? We, uh, Mr. Yargovas had shown us the famous paper by Alessina Perotti. Paul Krugman quipped about the night of the living Alessina. Usually this is what happens, is someone uh, actually, uh, by torturing uh, the data until they confess, they produce a theorem that is very close to what uh, the received wisdom is about. And then, when they make a fuzz and a buzz, later on, more uh, cool-headed research proves them wrong. But by that time, the ideological argument has been won and enforced by the politician who wanted the useful economists to do uh, their job for them. So, in the last uh, Irish election, uh, the new F word, as the Financial Times wrote, was fiscal space. The idea is that I think fiscal consolidation has gone too far. At the moment, what this economy needs is breathing space, because if there is no breathing space, there is no way we can put our finances into order. So, in a sense, first we must lose control in order to gain it again. I don't think that by going by this old wife's tales and uh, in this notion of misplaced um, concreteness, that by comparing households with economies and enunciating principles that uh, look reasonable uh, from a um, common man's point of view, but in fact economically do not make sense that we can go forward. So does this mean that anything goes? Does this mean that because we need the fiscal space, because we need policies of growth, that fiscal prudence is not required? Absolutely not. One of the major prerequisites of growth is actually a system of finances that is fair, that is just, where the taxable base is a large portion of the GDP and where people pay the taxes, not only the big fees, but also the little guy, those who evade uh, VAT, those who evade social security contributions, and to have something that would actually put the trust back to the people. Is the 29% uh, corporate tax high? Absolutely. Uh, this should be much uh, less than that. Is it the social security contribution rate too high? Of course. What we need is a much larger base and l much smaller coefficients. This is the way we can proceed. But it is wrong to confuse the microeconomics and the micromanagement of a prudent, just, and fair tax system with the macroeconomic implication of a fiscal consolidation that leads us down to a downward spiral that has no meaning. Thank you very much indeed.